This is Spoiler 8, live from the top of the Surrey Cow 3 airship, here on the asteroid base. Uh, for some reason there's now air in space. Deal with it. Right, so I've come up to my asteroid base, and me, Jamie from Randomized User, to actually just have a look at the new tenants that they've introduced into Starbound 1.3. There are five new tenants. Oh my god! There are four new tenants! <laughs> No, um, actually, that, I think that was the new one of the new tenants. He's now dead. Oh, on the surface of the planet, one of the two. Oh. Right, he was supposed to be the guy who lives here. He's, I think I hear him somewhere, but let's just actually re reactivate a new one. There we go. So this is the new station tenant, wearing space station clothes. And they've added three new furniture sets to 1.3, Astro, Industrial and Station, and each of those three attract a new tenant type. And there's also a space guard and a space hero that we'll have a look at. So this, and this furniture here, the red, white and blue, um, is from a space station. And if you go over to a space station and scan all the furniture in, you can use your pixel printer to print it out, create some furniture and attract a new tenant. So in this video we'll just actually have a look at attracting all five, and the various ways you have to do to actually get that in motion. So, actually let's just leave this behind, and let's go over to a space station. Cheese shark away! Right, just thought I'd come over to a space station just to briefly show you what the furniture looks like when it's actually on the station. Oh, it's worth pointing out that if you go to some anomalies, um, you may be able to find strange crashed ships and stuff that actually have some of this furniture as well. But this is the most reliable and easy source of this sort of stuff to get to. So you just get your scanner out, scan the furniture, all the red, white and blue stuff specifically, but also there are other things with the same tags as well. Um, and then you can go and print it out and, and assemble your nice new house and attract your station tenant. But whilst we're out and about, let's go and explore some anomalies and try to find some astro and industrial furniture as well. So see if there's any good anomalies in this sector. Ah, there's one right there. Let's go there. I've been discovering that these anomalies apparently only last for 30 minutes before evaporating. So it's a bit like the ancient gates in that respect. So, and this is going to be a reasonably decent encounter because it's not a difficult star. Let's hope we can actually find something good here. Die. There we go. Right, so the, um, what we've found in this anomaly is a kind of like a crashed science ship or something like that. Um, unfortunately, all it's got is some, well, more station furniture. So, yes, it isn't just space stations that you find this stuff at. Um, but I already know, um, all this stuff I already know how to print, so sod it. We need to go elsewhere. And here we come to another anomaly. And look, another ape! We apex get everywhere. Oh, this is a nice little, um, huh. This is a nice little anomaly. Now, so here, what we've got here, these two crates are, I think, just lunar crates. But this is the first piece of industrial furniture that we've actually found. So I do want to scan that. A sturdy looking crate, illuminated by a set of dim red lights. And the industrial stuff does seem to have a bit of a blue, yellow and grey and red theme to it. So things in a very similar colour scheme to that, basically. So it's not just um, uh, space anomalies that will yield results. And I've just found this um, friendly human ship, which has absolutely all the industrial furniture that you'll ever need, including the chairs and the tables, the lights up there, those crates that we saw earlier, and those doors might even be industrial ones, beds, and even an industrial storage locker, plus a mysterious machine. Yes. Cool, I think we've found enough industrial furniture now. All we need to do now is find some Astro. So based on our success with the previous friendly ship, I've come to another one, and this has got all the Astro furniture in it as well, uh, which is rather perfect of it. So we've got our scanner out, and we get all the stuff that we can get. Um, an exhaust pipe. Oh good. Uh huh. Huh. Lots of cool stuff. Right, excellent stuff. Now we can go back to our asteroid base and actually set up shop. So for each of these three tenants, the Astro, Industrial and Station, you need um, furniture that covers 24 tiles. So if you look in this room here, this should cover about, that's 8, 16, uh, and then another probably 8, 24. So this is like 32's worth. So this is plenty to attract whoever the hell moved in here at the start of the episode. There is the avian giving me a pickaxe for some reason. Good for you. Good for you. 
Right, so we haven't actually got any of this furniture yet, of course. We do actually need to print some out. Okay, so let's have an explore in the pixel printer. So we've got an astro door that I found. Eh, might as well have an astro door. And we've also... Got, we haven't got any other door, sorts of door, though. Um, astro light. Have a couple of them. Oh, there's the industrial light. Possibly some magic as well. And beds. Astro chair. Astro table. Da da. Da da da. And so on, really. Um, did I find any interesting other stuff? Not really. Right, sorry, let's, um, let's do with what we've got and hope that was enough. I can get through that bloody door. I've th all the doors are closed. God damn it. Right, let's actually try and put some furniture down. Industrial table first. Let's put them in down here. Industrial chair. Okay, so I've um, set everything up. And there should be more than enough st stuff here now. So let's try and attract the industrial tenant. It should be in brown overalls. Yes, there we go. Nice brown overalls. Um, the Astro, Industrial and Station Tenants can be any race, by the way. So let's go over here into this surprisingly small uh, room over here. And... There. That's kind of Astro Dude. Uh, in his rather strange-looking outfit. Orange and grey. I'm not so sure about the pink hair, though. Okay, so we've seen those three tenants. They're the simple ones. Now we're going to get a little bit more complicated for the final two tenants. We're going to first try and attract a space guard. Now this requires um, enough furniture to cover 12 tiles using station furniture, but also covering 24 tiles with combat stuff. So we're going to need something that's combat-y. So, something like an arm display armor. That'll probably c won't cover huge amounts. So maybe... A few of them. And we've already got some station stuff. So let's have a go. Let's see if we're going to attract... Oh, can't even get through that door. Let's see if we're going to attract a new one. Uh -huh. So unfortunately we're going to have to say goodbye to this tenant. So if we only need 12 things, so let's get rid of some of the furniture. And we'll put down instead the suits of armour. Actually these are cover this should be covering loads of space. That, we might only need two for this. This should be a space guard. Yes, that's a space guard. Good on him. And if you just take out, like for instance, just one of those. Let's see if that... Oh, I've actually taken out both. See, I've, I've got rid of most of the stuff now. That's just some random random prick. Um, so you do have to like um, achieve a certain amount of tile coverage. Anyway, let's, um, let's move on. Um, what we, we seem to have lost our thing now. Let's actually get... We'll, we'll get thing and me Bob back. Because why not? It might be... It will be something completely different this time, of course. Oh, now it's turned into a... Just a glitch guard. Um, hmm. I think that's possibly because we haven't got enough... Uh, covering here. So it's a bit of a balancing act. Um, anyway, let's move on to the final one. Uh, <laughs> like the bloody glitches just block, clogging things up with its silliness. And the space hero. This is the hardest one to get, and it's always a human tenant. I mean, in this one you actually need a mixture of the industrial, astro, and station stuff. But you also need some combat stuff, and you also need something tagged with space. Now, there aren't very many things, as far as I can tell, that actually have the space tag. Um, however, I've actually managed to find two out of the, um, I think there's three, already, um, when I was pootling around in my Starbound 1.3 preview series. So I'm going to my space station. This is the first one I set up just for the video. I've been experimenting. <laughs> you can see over there. So if you come over here to my mech base, um, this telescope and this sort of um, moving background thing, they're, all, they're, they're both tagged with space. So I'm actually going to steal this. I'm going to leave my telescope because this should be enough. I'm going to take this back. Um, and then we should be able to attract the Space Hero Tenant. Um, I haven't actually tried this before. Um, I haven't actually tested this out before the video, so this will be a bit of a challenge to see if I can actually get it done. Oh, hang on, where? which one is it? It's the bloody main one, that's the one. 
So for this one, I mean, for each of the each of the um, bits of furniture, you only need them each of the different types of furniture to cover twelve tiles. So like a to token one thing probably. So I think I'm going to reuse this room again. So let's just get rid of all this gunk. Uh, get rid of you as well. This may need to be. I mean, need to use, need to use all of that. So actually, let's move it a bit further away. So we've got a bit more space to play with. First of all, in fact, let's put up this. Oh god, that's huge. Um, we may have to get rid of the lights. Uh, well, for now, we'll just put in a straightforward um, torch lighting solution. We'll put this up in the air, out of harm's way. So, in fact, I know what we'll do. Is we'll actually break on through to the other side, give ourselves plenty of space. Because the requirements for this are quite brutal, um, in terms of space requirements. So, yeah, that's um, this house is now kind of all that, but that should all be fine. Uh, we do still need a torch, though, because I've taken that down. In fact, no, there's a torch. There's a, there's a light source there, so we should be fine. So we can start putting up this stuff. So that's the that's the station stuff. And now we need some astro stuff. So I'm going to steal your crap, frankly. <laughs> Which means you're going to start complaining, so I'll get rid of you. Right, astro table. And Astro Chair. That should cover 12 each of those. We've already got the space thing. We still need industrial stuff. That, hopefully, if I've still got... No, I've, I, I can actually pinch one of the crates. I'll pinch that crate here. I'll put that there. That should cover the industrial stuff. We need the combat stuff. And we've got the space stuff. So in theory, I've satisfied all the requirements. Yes, that's it. And that's actually the space hero. Uh, what's his name? Peyton, who tripped over a rock earlier. Some hero you are. Well, let's try and get a different variant of him. Let's have another another go with him. Yeah, so it's basically the same every time. Oh, this one's called Samara. I and mean, you can tell the space hero because of the silly batwing type things up there. Uh, so the industrialist and the space hero having a nice little chat on top of the table for some reason. What an idiot. Okay, so we'll stop here. Um, I've just redesigned things, so we've got... Well, we've got four of the five tenants. Uh, there simply isn't enough room for the space guard. But he seems to be the trickiest one to get. It's very easy just to get something like a, a glitch guard instead. And we don't want that. So that might require a bit more experimentation. But at least we've seen one space guard in this video. Even if it's a bit tricky to always get. Cool, okay, so we'll um, play Starbound 1.3 again very soon. Um, maybe even start a building series that I keep on promising and never doing, um, but that'll be in a, in a while, once I've sorted out a few other things as well. So I will see you back for then, and hopefully some other stuff as well. So do subscribe to be notified when things go live, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.